hi welcome back to your new lesson in this lesson i am going to show you how you can use savage gole filter in uh, while smoothing your noisy signal savage ki gole filter is used for smoothing a signal which has uh, noise a lot of noise you can say and the savage ki gole filter is also known as a digital smoothing polynomial filter or a least square smoothing filter it can removes a signal whose frequency contains uh, a large amount of noise and also if you want to preserve its its a signal so in this type of application savage ki gole smoothing filters perform much better than standard average filter which tends to filter out a significant portion of signal's high frequency content along with the noise However, savage ki gole uh, filters are more effective at preserving the uh, you know high frequency components of any signal, but they are less successful than standard averaging FIR filter at rejecting noise when noise levels are particularly very high. So let's know more about this um, savage ki gole filtering. You can type a help uh, into command window, help. and uh, then s gole then you will know more about the s gole filter so s gole filter takes a multiple input parameter such as the order and then the frame length and then weights right then s gole generates a filter coefficients like a b here and then you can pass this b as a filter coefficients into then you can pass this b if a filter coefficients into filter right a filter command of a matlab and apart from that either you can apply with the filter coefficients or you can use a convolution but we are not going to calculate here um uh, uh, calculate here filter coefficients using s gole there is another simpler way available for that you can use s gole filt so in the s gole filt it takes three input parameters first is a input that is x and then it needs a order how much uh, how many orders do you want to fit that uh, polynomial in your data and then the frame length on which that polynomial fit will be applied right so it takes only three parameters s gole filt s gole filt takes three parameters x order and the frame length right so for that we need to first generate a signal so let us generate a signal and uh, the signal which will be having a lot of noise and after that we will perform here you know s gole filtering right so let's take a dt and uh, dt is equal to 1 by 100 and uh, then let's take a t t will be from 0 to dt to let's take it up to the 10 okay and now we are going to generate a signal x x is equal to 5 multiplied by sin this is sinusoidal signal and then 2 multiplied by pi you know the 2 pi t and then multiplied by t and then i am going to add a noise here so you can add here rand random noise and this random noise will be added of size of t right and now we can plot this x and you will see so this is noise signal okay this is noisy signal it has so much noise into this sinusoidal signal now we are going to use here savage ki gole filter to noise to uh, you know remove this noise so let's select here order is equal to 4 and then frame length frame length is equal to let's select 21 and then we are going to perform here y is equal to s gole filt and then it needs input parameter as x and then it needs order and then it needs frame length and we are going to plot it so let's plot first t and then x as a input t and then y and then we are going to add here legend also so legend says that the first one is input and 
second one is filtered input now just plot it using shg it will bring all the bring uh, it will bring that window in front of this window in in front of all the windows now you might have noticed that it has filtered out data but it's not visible here so for that what we can do we can add a little shift between these two filters uh, between these two plots so what we can do here we can add here uh, let's say pipe amount okay now this plot it now as you can see here I had added just five offset into a filtered output data so in the filtered output and this is input now you can very clearly see that this output has been significantly you know uh, smoothed out so it has a smoothened that signal and you can also notice that there is very low phase shift in the filter data so s goalie filter is a is a perfect choice where low amount of noise are included into signal so this is all about here uh, uh, s goalie filtering techniques and one more thing uh, i would like to tell you here s goalie filtering is a special a kind of low pass filter so low in fact uh, s goalie filter is a special type of low pass filter which uses polynomial fitting algorithm now you can apply this SQL filtering techniques in your signal processing algorithms so thank you so much for watching this video and uh, please subscribe this channel and comment below if you have any problem bye bye have a nice day